and tasers on full charge. Velociraptor? No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. Who do you think you are? <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular, spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? <laughs> well... Try to. <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> now, on the species of Veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a Two miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm-hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. We have a T-Rex. <laughs> Dr. Grant, my idea is up to that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. How'd you do this? Most advanced amusement park in the entire world. Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Can I hear me?
Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. So the kind of control you're attempting is, uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence uh, of chaos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These will be your transports for the afternoon. The driver. No, oh, no, 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 no driver. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the oh. butterfly effect. The butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and in Central Park, you get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Alan! <sighs> Don't be scared. Come on. It's okay. She's sick. I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. I told you how many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors. Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis. <laughs> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead. All of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Five million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, the stock. Oh, uh, I uh, finished debugging the phones, uh, but the uh, system's gonna be uh, compiling for uh, 18 to 20 minutes, so some of the minor systems they might go on and off for a while. Anybody want a soda or something? Fences are failing all over the park. Security systems are shutting down. Phones are out too. Access main program grid. Uh uh uh. You didn't say the magic word. Please. I wonder if perhaps you would be good enough to be like my mansion. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. I'm going word. with him. Uh, uh. Hey, what did I touch? Uh, you didn't touch anything. We stopped. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You feel like... What is that?
you think he's going? When you gotta go, you gotta go. Remind me to thank John for a lovely weekend. We will never find the command that Victor used. He's covered his tracks far too well. Shutting down the entire system is the only way to wipe out everything that he did. Okay, look, see that? It's on, it worked. The shutdown tripped the circuit breakers. Three minutes, I can have the power back on in the entire park. Just to be safe, I want everybody in the emergency bunker until Mr. Arnold returns and the whole system's up and running again. Having Ned to do was a mistake. Should have been there by now. Nice boy. 
What do you want? What do you want? You want food? Visitors said it's just about a mile over that rise there. Oh, just God. keep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are, are those uh, meat eating? Uh, meat of sources? It's really uniform direction changes, just like a flock of birds evading a predator. They're, uh, they're flocking this way. Something went wrong. I'm gonna go get the power back on. You can't just stroll down the road. I think I can follow this and then talk you through it. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Mr. Arnold? Mr. Arnold? Mr. Hammond, I think we're back in business. <laughs> Arnold. Run. I've got her. Control room. We can call for help? We gotta reboot the system first. 
Turn off the door locks! After careful consideration, I've decided not to endorse your park. So have I. Oh, my God.